Hey, bonjour YouTube. Today, we're going to talk about priorities in life. You already know me. I don't believe the fact that you don't have enough time. There is no such thing as having or not having time. You just make time and making time is different and it implies setting some priorities because I only have 24 hours in my day and you too, last time I checked. Today, we're going to redo an experiment a very famous one, an experiment about prioritizing time and life in general. This experiment is called the jar of life, but we're not going to only redo this experiment. We're also going to take the key learnings we can take from this experiment before seeing what we can do about it and ultimately take action. For the people joining us here for the first time, bonjour, I'm Hugo and I help busy professionals be more productive and get back in control of their own time. If you wanna be more productive, if you wanna manage better your time more effectively, then you may consider subscribing to this channel so that we can hang out together. And don't forget to ring the bell to get the upload notifications twice a week. I wanted to take the opportunity of being in Joshua Tree here in California with my family to uh, make this important video about time and life. You can see right behind me one of the Joshua trees. And being here with my family makes me take so much perspective on what is truly important in life. And this is exactly what we're going to talk about in this experiment. Let's deep dive into this experiment. This is a pretty famous one from a professor in philosophy that was telling a story about what is truly important in life and about prioritization. And he shows everything with a jar. The actual source of this story is unknown as of today. But let me explain. This jar has a limited capacity. You cannot extend its size or the room that is inside. It's pretty limited. And this jar represents your life and the time spent on Earth. Time is limited, so your only way to manage time successfully is to find the levers that you have in order to manage time within this constraint. So, what do you fill your jar of life with? Let's start with sand. I'm gonna pour sand inside the jar trying to not make a mess. The, the sand represents things that are unimportant in life. Here you go. Sand represents the unimportant things in life. The things that, are, that take your time and that are pretty empty by nature, like video games, social media, time wasted because you're worrying too much about things. And whether you like it or not, Netflix fits into this category. So now that I put the sand inside, I'm gonna put the pebbles. Here you go. The pebbles, these little stones, represent things that are necessary, that structure your life, but that are not necessarily very important for you. This represents your job, your car, the comfort of your home and life and some hobbies. Now that I put the sand and the pebbles, I'm gonna put the rocks. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna do it differently. And that's what we're struggling in life. We're trying to make the rock fit into this jar as we already put sand and pebbles. So as you can see, it doesn't fit. These rocks represent what is truly important to us. Family, health, friends, genuine connection, genuine relationships, uh, self-care, passions that you have, and basically things that money can't buy. You'll easily notice that if you start filling the jar with unimportant things, and then with the pebbles, the necessary things, you will not have enough time for what is truly important, the rocks. But what if I do the opposite? Okay, I don't know how to do that. It's kind of a mess. So, oh, okay, I know. Et voila! I start with the rocks, with the truly important things. Now I'm trying to put the pebbles inside. Need to mix things up a little bit 
and then I add the send. Okay, this is definitely a mess. Et voilà. You end up having enough time for everything. I fit everything in there. And above all, even though you have a lot of things thrown at you, life can be a little bit tough sometimes. Even though sometimes you can be very busy, busy, busy all the time. This is only perspective. And you will always have enough time to have a nice glass of wine with a friend. Oh, 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 oh. not too much. I don't want to waste this good, good, good French wine. What do you learn from that? Do you remember my video about value add? If you forgot about it, you can watch this video right here. But after this video, because what we're going to talk about right now is very important. So the rocks, the very important things are the value add, what I call value add. The pebbles are what I call personal non-value add, the things that are necessary but not truly important. And then the sand represents the non-value add. In order to have a more effective and efficient life, then pay attention to the rocks. Pay attention what is truly important because these are crucial for your long-term well-being. But not only that, you should always prioritize the rock against everything else in your life. Then worry about pebbles and sand in a later time. And you should always have the rocks inside the jar at any given time in life. Because if you use all your energy and time on the small things, you won't have energy anymore. You won't have energy left for the big things, for the really important things. But even further than that, if you tend to procrastinate, it's okay to procrastinate, but you can only procrastinate on the sand and maybe the pebbles. Never procrastinate on the rocks. Now it's time to take action. Take three minutes and identify what are the rocks for you. Take three or four things. What are the rocks that need to always stay in your jar of life? Then what are your pebbles? What are your pebbles? What are the things that are necessary for you but not, not the things that are truly important that money cannot buy? And then what is the sand? Do this exercise for three minutes and please let me know in the comment section. I would really want to know what is your rock? What is your pebble and what is your sand? Thanks for watching guys. I'm really beyond happy that you're watching my videos on a weekly basis and that you support my work on this channel. Consider subscribing for more videos like this and see you next week. Au revoir.